cute to see but uh, because of uh, the internet i don't know what is going on but uh, we must continue they have heard the messenger but the message is still on and that message is what i'm here to preach uh the reason why the messenger handed himself to the oppressor will be known in due time uh because there have been pressure so much um he knows his own reason uh many people i will come to that later but now i don't want to skip the method that i normally use to start my program i use a methodology by which i recognize the man that made it possible for us to be knowing the environment we are living in to be conscious of our environment and that message is the message you are going to hear now like i said you can hold the messenger but the message has been out there and never to return back and now let's go to our leader the leader of indigenous people of biafra in the name of uh, mazen nam the colonel let me go to his broadcast uh, so that I can be able to kick start today may be brief i don't supposed to be online today but they said necessity is the mother of invention and that is why i am here to still tell you people that we are not despair uh, nothing like losing hope nothing like uh, to be deterred you must be resolute when you are hearing resolute i don't think many of you understand what is resoluteness when you hear what is consistency and when you hear what is bravery i don't know maybe many of you i think that um, freedom is just a t or a football match between one team and the other where somebody is officiating in a football match you have a referee but in a freedom fighting there's no referee anything can happen at any time and the man in question that i've started this journey he knew that is sometimes it's gonna be tough and that toughness is what it means who is a freedom fighter let's go let's go to one of his uh, message so that when they are hearing it they will know that holding him it is not uh, the way to stop the message from being disseminating i am telling you the man has done his job like i've been saying in the past for me he has waken us up for us to continue but there's something missing something is missing and many of you know that that is missing and this is not a one-man job he cannot do it alone i've been saying it in the past but let's give pay attention to one of his broadcasts so that those that are holding him those that are jubilating that he has been held you are mistaken you are mistaken i will i tell you if you are very smart you would have known what has been going on but uh, not everything that will be led in the open but let's go Let's go. I mean, <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> to be a black person is a curse. Honestly speaking, it's unbelievable. The stupidity is amazing. Honestly. They are doubling the importation. Who are the people suffering? Biafran importers. Where is the money going? And after paying that loan, you come on the road and you see customs at every 20 miles. The same goods you picked up from the seaport, they're asking you on the road to bring your papers. But this particular product came, the, the container came from the, the seaport. Did I get it from my head? No, 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 they don't want to know. What does that tell you about the zoo? Where you can actually see, when you're looking at a black man in the zoo, be it customs officer, police officer, army officer, you will appreciate how evil and wicked black people are. When you encounter them, you know that an average black person can be so wicked and evil, and that is why Africa is very poor and in darkness. The wickedness is astonishing of a black person on the road. You are saying to him, Order, but I got these goods from your seaport. These are the I don't want to know about very well, clear very well. On the road. And people have the temerity to blame Europeans for Africa's problem. No, Africans are the mess they are in today because of their stupidity. When they brought you idol worship, you accepted it. When you try to correct them that what you're worshiping is idol, they say, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, my goodness me. You believe the word disease. And you ask them, please, when they asked your Yeshua to teach them how to pray, what did he say? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. Are you listening? If you want to continue, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. For yours is the kingdom. Where did he say in Jesus' name, I pray? These are people that want to get us to Biafra, people who cannot reason and use much of the senses. Rabbi, teach us how to pray. A simple question. We don't know how to pray. Please teach us. He said the prayer. 
I never said in Jesus' name. We had to do that to own from from idol worshippers. We didn't have to say. 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 The plans to build on the sea gas pipeline from Bonnet to Lake is the truth. Think about it, what I've just said. You see the Ezeku on our back on what? We need to turn out Truth. Yeah, when Yeshua was asked, please teach us how to pray. And he prayed. So where did you get your own Jesus name from? Oh, you don't read the Bible? Then you say, they tell you, oh, go, go to John 18. That is not my question. My question is, when Yahweh Yeshua prayed, did he say in Jesus' name? The answer is no. Then where did you get your own from? Oh, if you go to the book of Ecclesiastes chapter, is that a work as to everybody? Did they ask you to pray? They asked the Son of the Most High, teach us how to pray. They didn't ask you. You go and added your own. Or what I did. Did they ask you? That's why you fell exams, and that is why you studied electrical engineering in Biafra land, and there is no light. <laughs> My goodness me. They ask you something, you're asking something else. I remember a comedian who was making mockery of men, and rightfully so. I don't know his name. He was saying that um, how Eve deceived um, Adam, and that uh, man is Mumu. And people were laughing. And the way he was saying was correct. Chuka Adam asked Adam, where are you? He said he's naked. What has, as the comedian said, what has geography got to do with a simple question of, um, of um, you know, it was a geographical question, where are you in your location? He said I'm naked. Is that the answer to the question? Adam, Adam, where are you? Um, Father, I am naked. Is that the question? Or is that the answer to the question? And I was thinking, I'm thinking, this reminds me of black men. They never asked them to pray. They asked the Son of Man to pray. Yahushua, teach us how to pray. The question was direct. Teach us how, or Master, how do we pray? He knelt down and prayed. Taught you how to pray. Added your own. Then now, Mr. Argument, as if you were asked. I don't, was it the guy, was, I don't know where I was. Is it the Garden of Gethsemane? I don't know where he prayed. You said to them, I have been through the scriptures. Show me where Yahushua praised himself. Even on the cross, he said, Father, it is finished. But because white people cannot worship spirit, they must worship something they can see. That is why today you are worshiping idol. And that is why your life is upside down. You don't know it. We are here to save you. African richest man and Awasa, the president of Dangote Group, Al Hajaliko Dangote, has dropped a hint about plans to build an undersea gas pipeline from Boni to Lake They said, uh, We own all the oil in Bayelsa. People thought they were joking. Is there any Bayelsa man now in this consortium? The answer is no. Any Biafran? The answer is no. Do you see how foolish we are? Our man will come take your oil, become a billionaire, and then he's reading on the ground sea pipeline to Lagos. <laughs> hey, yeah, my goodness me. My goodness me. His name is Al-Haji Ali Dangote. The wife, the tenth wife is richer than every evil man put together. Dangote's tenth wife is richer than every evil man put together. <laughs> and people say they are rich. Why are going to You need to have, to have money. Awesome. Okay, um, this is the segment. This is um, the all I have to bring for today. Um, the voice of the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, the man that um, made many youth in Nigeria to start a reasoning, the man that waking many people up. And um, this man on his own have um, passed a message, and the message is what I'm going to show you people today because many of you don't follow up, but it's not your fault because um, sometimes um it's good for for someone to keep people in suspense um this man has been in africa for many of you may not know and i know nigeria is now jubilating ah we have went and extradited him uh we went there with you we worked together with interpol the interpol have to work with the security agency and we brought him back check his twitter he has been tweeting and i know many of you uh we've been so much disappointed you don't need to be disappointed i don't know whether you know the meaning of freedom freedom is not um it's not uh, easy to be free it's not easy to be free 
and uh, I know many people that have been calling me for like two weeks ago. Is it one week ago? Our leader says he's coming back home. Where is he now? He's not at home. Um, some people have started talking, you know, many people have been lost hope. Some say they cannot eat today. Some said they have lost hope. Some said, oh, uh, I don't believe it. I cannot hold myself. No, this is not how it works. It is not how it works. And that is why I told you people, there's a difference between supporter of freedom fighters and you as a freedom fighter. Anything can happen. Anything can happen at, at any time. Whatever happened does not make you to lose that's ideology that is in you and that is why it's not good for someone to force you to join into anything in life it's a struggle that you decided to start it on your own even if you are the last man standing you continue preaching that message to you yourself will be lowered in the grave that is the meaning of being a freedom fighter and i want you to be many of you may not understand but i know some are feeling concerned it's just a, a sign of concern that um many of you are uh, so much concerned about the struggle but i know you know in the struggle we have OS member and we have people that have it at heart that um, this world is less than a breed that anything can happen and uh, the young man that is why he has been preaching that is why he has been preaching every day by day to make sure that the message sink inside your brain and um as he have handed himself over to the nigerian government and Nigerian government will not tell the, the, the citizen that look at how it happened. But they want to take the glory. You know why they want to take the glory? So that they want to convince many of you that their security system is working. They want to tell you, oh, the new chief of staffs, army staffs, and the chief of security staffs are, are at work. I tell you, it is not it. Many people that know what is going on will know what is going on. Not everything that will be relayed on air. But the only thing, the only task, the only message he expects from many of you, the only thing that he expects from many of you is to be resolute. Many of you to be consistency. Many of you to keep on standing where you are standing. Whether they put a knife on your throat or gun on your throat, you are where you are. Many of us have disowned our, our friends' families. Many of, us, many of us have disowned them. Many of us don't know what it means to be in a family. Many of us decided not even to have children because of to be on the war front because you don't want to leave people behind that will be suffering it when you are no more. I may, go, I may go today or tomorrow. Anything can happen at any time. But what I just want to tell you is that remain strong. Remain strong. Don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. Many of you that may losing hope, especially there are those that are the religious. The religion. You know, when I'll be telling people about religion, many of you don't understand it. One leg is in religion, one leg is in struggle. No. When you understand what you are into, I tell you, I tell you, nothing will shake you. Nothing will shake you. Nothing will wither you. Nothing will make you to feel empty inside you. It's not possible. And that is why I tell you this struggle, this struggle. If you can go back, me, my, I know, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm an exception. I don't know. I have taken my time to listen to this broadcast of this young man since 2012 to now. I have all of them. Every day I am walking. I'm always with earphone. I have listened to his broadcast. I tell you, anytime he's speaking, that is why I'm not eager again to listen to him. Because I have, the message is within me. Every day I'm at work, his earphone is with me. I can tell you anything he say. If you want to quest, if you want to try me, ask me on which day. Just make, just write one quotation and ask me which broadcast is that. I will tell you the date and the time he said it. The message has permeated into our souls that whether you like, hold a messenger. The message is on, and um. He handed himself over to the Nigerian uh, security agency after spending days in African soil, which many of you that are observant will understand. Um, British or whatever is not working with anybody. You see how they are lying to many of you. They are lying to you that, uh, yes, we have extradited him. Uh, we have uh, just hold him and make him, uh, you know, to, 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 to be extradited. Uh, we are working together with a uh, British uh, security in Tapu. The young man knows his reason. But I cannot come out here and tell you that I know the reason. I don't know the reason. But what I know is that he handed himself over. I have been calculating. I have been doing my calculation to, uh, to know that most of the brokers he's preaching is not on ground. 
most of the broadcast many of you are listening is not on ground most of the broadcast he has been relaying is not in london that is why you see this um internet you see this social media you see this uh, internet world uh it is very very that is why it's not good to threaten someone it's not good to begin to fight somebody that you don't know this internet is a very tiny world that they, they can be able to know where you are at any time but this young man has been in african soil i don't want to call the the name of the country many of you that are observant to understand and uh, there are so many pressure there are so many pressure there are so many pressure because the man has lost everything so what is the need of staying every time broadcasting many of you can remember he said i am going back very soon i am going back very soon i am going i will be in i will be at home very soon and some started though the people that up that we observant have been calling me he's not at home yet so he said he'll be at home now he's at home now he's at home so what you have to do uh, the message what he expects from you people is to just be what strong very simple your task is very simple your task is not so hard so much hard he don't want to he don't want to put your life in danger anymore you have known that peaceful protest doesn't work if it was before he will first of all tweet and tell you i will be so 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 time or they have arrested me check his tweet you see when he stops tweeting um he don't want to he know that the things have changed and that is why during the time of his um of his um command before was when we want to do remembrance day of our hero uh that our fallen heroes you know we go out to protest but when he rea will realize that when we go out to protest what we get is killing and we now change the method and saying stay at home the same way he don't want you to come out again to start protesting um like i said we have to put our ear on ground to see how it unfold the next um court sitting is on 26th of uh, july that is next month 26th that is the next hearing and they are telling you people that they are working with the uh, interpol uh they want to tell you people that uh, in fact if to nigerian government as it stands now to them it seems as, as if um the economy is working the security is not is not tight the security are working no more kidnapping no more full and slaughtering no more um grazing um all these people saying they want to they want to graze um they want they want a land for grazing they want to divert many people attention to feel that the security is not working i tell you the security is worse now than ever i know they know who they are holding and that is why they try as much as they could not to allow him to appear before the camera they struggle to bring him in the camera they struggle they try to you know cover up so that they will not see him but they know the kind of person that they are holding as he stands now and they know that um, this is not the time of ranting uh, at least some missionaries are now on ground and he have already done his job he have done his job before going back home he have watered the soil he have made us to understand that no matter what happened we keep on holding on to that what is that freedom is now or never is that we get this freedom now or we don't get it uh, at all in this our lifetime but i tell you we have sacrificed a lot that that to go back is not possible a lot of people have gone for this struggle and um, believe you me i don't know what is interesting in your own lifetime for me life has no meaning to me and um any day it 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 any day it happens that um we have to join the race no matter where it is we have no choice because the time of um you know willing has gone i don't want many of you to be willing it's not time of willing crying is for religious people if you want to uh, if you want to lose hope if you want to you know feel empty within you you are not part of us you must be strong you must be strong more than now than never the time of you to be strong is now and that's why i told you people um you can hold the messenger the message is everywhere the message has even gotten to those that doesn't even deserve to hear it so um that is why that is why we need to we need to buckle up i have a message for you like i said i'm not supposed to come online today i don't supposed to come online i normally come online to two days interval but they said 
necessity is the mother of invention. I come out to tell you that you don't have to lose hope. I come out to tell you that um, the struggle is on. I come out to tell you that what you don't know is bigger than you. But I'm, I'm not blaming you. You are you are sort of you know feeling a kind of um, bad or sad. It show that you are concerned. It show that you are part of the struggle. But it doesn't make you a core hard freedom fighter. You know it may it may say okay a freedom a struggle a hardened a hardened one. What should be going on in your mind now? What is going on? What is going on? Any Naya Baribe life is in danger. And the any Naya Baribe signed a short to this man. And they have been threatening his life, that they want to take his life. And um, a lot of things has been going on. And this man said last month ago that he's going home. He's going home. He has no choice other than to go home. He gave you people that into religion quotation or whatever. I think is um is it fasting or whatever prayer to be doing. I don't know. I don't, I don't know whether people are still doing it. I am going to replay his last broadcast. I want you to pay attention to the last broadcast um, before he departs the journey, before you embark on the journey to go, because he has no choice anymore. Um, he has done what he's supposed to do, and the pressure is for him to do what he promised to do, and that journey has started. He, ha he has been there. But they try to deceive many of you that they work, they col collaborate with um, British um, Interpol. And I want you to remove that from your mind. It doesn't happen like that. Let's go. Let's go to this uh, broadcast. Uh, this is the last broadcast of our leader, Mazen Namdekano, uh, before he departs for the journey to meet those uh, that have been telling him to come back home. Now he's at home. Instead of you to tell the people the truth, you are not saying you, you collide. If you see how they are bragging, ah, we work with Interpol. We, we make sure that we bring him back to come and continue his trial. Don't worry, very soon you hear how it happened. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, this is the last broadcast of our leader. This very person is telling us, we are four. We are going to die in mass and we are going to take them with us. By the time the slaughter happens, it will be told so intense that you see that CNN, they will come to their family to cover this very war. That is about to happen. You see, you, are, you read Bible, order. Many of you read Bible. And many of you say that Jesus Christ did what? He said, uh, God he said, God, uh, uh, God, God, use, uh, use, uh, uh, no, no, not Jesus Christ. You know, I'm not into Bible. Uh, Abraham. Uh, okay, Jesus Christ. Let's go with Jesus Christ. He's um only begotten son to save the generation. This man, he have a mission. I tell you. This man have a mission. And Nigerian government, no. I want to bring you NTA comment commentary about this man. They said they know who they are holding, and that's why they are very, very careful as he stands now. They are very, very careful for somebody to come and hand himself to you people. They are now very careful in treating it. So, um, if at all is British, it would have no sense. Uh, British is not Nigeria. I know you many people would talk that uh, yes. Uh, because uh, he has been saying bad about them. No, that the freedom of speech in England, they are the most civilized. I know they are sucking us dry, but I tell you, if it is the British that is um, doing this, I tell you, many of us will know long time ago. He would have even tell you, look at what is going, because he's not running anywhere. If British want to get you, they will get you within one day. You don't run anywhere. It's not Nigeria that say Boko Haram is inside Sambisa Forest and um, and they will be looking for the, the Chibogues for how many years? No. It is not British. I just want you to have in mind. It's not British. And this man has been in Nigeria for a longer time now. That is why they came out to tell you they put 200 million on his head. That uh, anybody that can bring him healthy and alive, you remember that broadcast of this um, full and ginger weed? They knew because they are the one that controlling Nigeria. They know that that man is on ground, and they know that he's in DSS custody. He's not today. He has been there since how many weeks ago? But it's now they try to bring it out because they cannot repatriate somebody and you know you know make make uh, open the court of law to come there. Today is the proceeding. They started today. They knew this man has been in Nigeria for how many weeks now? And that is why those people that call themselves the Fulani, uh, what they said as the 74, is it 74 group? The one that said they place 
uh, one thousand is it one million one million uh, hundred one hundred million dollar or hundred million naira on the head of our leader if you remember what they said they said we don't want him dead we don't want him injured we want him healthy and alive and as they are saying it, they are smiling. Go back and recheck um, that broadcast. So this man has been there. And it's only the cabals that knew that he has been around. So they try to see how they can, you know, relate to the citizen. They told you people that uh, they brought him yesterday, being Sunday. And that today they are, uh, no, being Monday, sorry. Oh no, Sunday they brought him. And today they are in him to court. The man has been there for long. He has been there he's i don't want to maybe i don't want to say it in due time many of you will know how it happened but i just want to tell you he has not in no hand they might no hands whatsoever with the british government if a british government want to get in the can it's not today they would have done it long time ago they have their they don't have a business with him and nigerian government uh, i don't know they need to be very careful and i i think they are careful they are careful this time around i tell you they are careful and they are careful they tried if it was before it's everywhere the video will be everywhere the video will be everywhere you know for you know to tell you that look at him look at him we are gotten him can you believe that this man that nigerian government will go and get him with the help of the british and brought him back to nigeria and they didn't do any video for the first day to show you how they are working no they are trailing with caution they are very very careful this time around they don't want to do the mistake they did in the first place and they don't want to you know drag him anyhow and that is why they went to the court to get a court permit what they did today is to grant a court permit to detain him if it was before they don't need any court permit so they are very very careful now for this man it's just like somebody you have been looking for the person say okay look at me i'm look at me you have been looking for me you can now take me they are very careful i tell you but the only message he said i should tell you throughout all his journey is for us to be resolute and let's continue with what i'm playing this is the last broadcast and then all of them running away from Jaffa they will cover it by force because we are going to kill every nigerian soldier on Jaffa soil will die god is my witness and i will leave this very army myself mm. uh, let me uh, are you going to he said he will lead he said he will lead the army by himself is he going to lead on in london this is his last broadcast is he going to lead from israel or from america he's going to lead on ground leading does not mean that he will be in the war front he may be the reason he may be the main reason so i want you to take this message very simple i don't want to make it um very uh i don't want to call i don't need a call if you want to call me maybe after the broadcast uh this doesn't uh, demand for calling the message is very simple try to be consistency resoluteness and determined the journey the war the the the, the fight you are fighting is a just cause self-determination self-determination whether it's enshrined in any united nation whatever naturally self-determination is a right of a human i say naturally even in your family Everybody is struggling. It's a self-determination. So um, the message is very simple. I go to read again. He said he will lead the army. You people are saying you are spiritual. Those that read the Bible say you are spiritual. When somebody says he will lead, he does not mean that he will be in the forefront carrying gun as the army. No. Leading means something. It means so many things. Interpret it in your own way. You understand. Let's go. Let's go. This is his uh, last broadcast. Um, before he now embark on the journey to the African soil, where he now finally stormed Nigeria to hand himself over to the Nigerian government. But they came and tell their citizen that they, they extradite him. Uh, you know, they walk together. Oh, Nigeria. I don't know. Let's listen. Let's listen. People are dying every day. Are we better than them? Those who are dying, are we better than them? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, sir. We must develop the mindset of the Afghanis to die on your feet. To live for a thousand years on your knees as most of them are doing without even knowing it or you die on your feet the devil's alternative whichever option we choose men are going to die mm. which one do you prefer are we going to fight and die like men 
or are we going to submit to a lie for Allah Akbar? It's entirely up to you. The time is now because the enemies they have come. I'm not, I didn't say they are coming, they have not come into our land. And as I promised them, if God is on our side, which I know he is on our side, this army of Nigeria will die in Biafra land. That is how God intended it to happen. Many of us are going to die. And I'm, I'm believing it myself, mind you. Many of us are going to die. Mm. But Biafra is going to come. He said you are going to lead it by yourself. He will lead it by himself. And that leading is what he went to. This man loves his people so much. He may not understand the kind of love that come out from this man to us. The same, the same way I have that love over IPOB members. I tell you, if it is within my means, to help everybody to to come out from this mess we are into i will do it if i tell you what runs in my mind every day i'm sleeping you will not understand it i am not human anymore the person i'm staying in the house sometimes he don't even come closer to me because he know what is going on in my head some crazy things goes on in my head that i just want to keep it to myself i don't want to i don't i have no business with anybody I have no business whatsoever with anybody. It's only me that I have business with. And it's only me that I know what is running on in my head. This man, I repeat, he said he will lead it himself. So I want you to calm down. Calm down. Relax your mind. Relax your mind. If you are display, give yourself a smile on the face. The smile you are giving yourself does not mean that you are, you are joking with the struggle. Give yourself a smile. Give yourself a courage to continue. Don't lose hope. All of us are in this mess. All of us are in this mess and we must come out. Either we come out totally or we remain slave forever. Let me let me let me let me go, go back to it again. I think I have to leave it to for like five minutes. But this place is very important for you, and that is why I replay this segment. This is his last broadcast before he left. Before he embarked on the journey from Africa to another African country, from one African country to another African country before he landed. Uh it's not easy because um he is uh, more concerned that he get himself home safely and as god may have it he have arrived and let's just see how it goes let's pay attention let's pay attention i'm not i didn't say they are coming they have not come into our land mm. and as i promised them mm. if god is on our side which i know he is on our side this army of nigeria will die in biafra land that is how god intended it to happen mm. Many of us are going to die, and I'm, I'm believing it myself, mind you. Many of us are going to die, but Biafra is going to come, and everything called Nigeria will perish in Biafra land. The world must be prepared for what is to come. We are not going to be slaves in our land. I want to let Katrina Lang, the UK government, to understand this that we have chosen the path of death than to submit to the will of the Flannery Caliphate. Death is better for us. People are dying every day. Are they not human beings? I don't know. Mm. People are dying every day. Are we better than them? Those who are dying, are we better than them? We must develop the mindset of the Afghanis. Afghanis. In Afghan, that is why Afghanistan cannot be there. It doesn't matter the firepower you have. NATO is in Afghanistan and they're taking Afghanistan and says no. You are coming to kill us, but you, we are also going to die together in the land of Biafra. Let anybody say it not to warn them, because things are going to start happening in the next 14 days. <laughs> when it starts happening, <laughs> if you me talk and yap and write their rubbish. But now that the Fulanis are kidnapping our people, disappearing us. Um, next 14 days, he did this broadcast on 16th. He did this broadcast on 16th of... Um, of uh, this month 2021 and he says something is going to start happening from 14 days and when you add 16 plus 14 what do you get you get 30 days 16 is when he had this broadcast and um he said from 14 days from 14 days after this he said um, that is tomorrow virtually tomorrow uh that is 30 days as he said Yes, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Killing people in poor clothes. Nobody's talking. We must make our land impregnable for them. Mm. 
and that will involve a lot of destruction. I'm saying it live on air so that all of you will understand. Mm. To slow the advance down, we need to destroy a lot of things. Okay, I understand. We must destroy a lot of things. That is how you, all of you will come to your senses to understand that we are in a state of war. Mm. Mm. They want to circle us. Mm. They are using the flavors amongst us to try to be, you know, assuaging your, your, should I say, your bruised egos, all of you, writing no rubbish about one Nigeria. From next two weeks, we are going to start dying <laughs> for what we believe in. <laughs> Not one or two or three or four. We are going to uh, die in mass, uh, and we are going to take them with us. By the time the slaughter happens, it will be too, so intense that you see that CNN, they will come to their family to cover this very war. That is about to happen. This man is going for sacrifice. This man is going home for sacrificing. Do you understand it? You understand it now. You understand it. You understand it. And I hope you get the message. Um, don't bother about people commenting. Don't reply them. Allow them. It's normal. It's normal. They are here to learn. And they are here to I have a lot of people calling me today, both ex soldiers, both the one that say they are soldiers. You know, you know, they are trying, what do we do now? What do I say? Relax. You are not the one. You don't me myself. I, I if I tell you that I know anything about the military aspect, I'm lying. I cannot come here to lie to you people. For what? The man that is doing things know himself. And we believe in him. We believe in him. Um, he said it. He said uh, from two weeks. Uh, that is why he wants to start it. I think he wants to start it. But uh, all his plan is what I don't know. But what I know is that he handed himself over. That's, that's why he's, that's that is he's how doing. you all of you will come to your senses to understand that we are in a state of war. Mm. They want to circle us. Mm. They are using the flavors amongst us to try to be, you know, assuaging your, your, should I say, your bruised egos. All of you My man is writing no rubbish about one Nigeria. From next two weeks, we are going to start dying for what we believe in. Not one or two or three or four. We are going to die in mass. And we are going to take them with us. By the time the slaughter happens, it will be too so intense that you see that CNN, they will come to their family to cover this very war. That is about to happen. You see CNN, all of them running away from Jaffa, they will cover it by force. Because we are going to kill every Nigerian soldier on Jaffa's soil will die. God is my witness. You know, you've been out here today. And I will leave this very army myself. So what did he say? What did he say? And um, what did he say? What did he say? You care to understand that we have chosen to die mm. than be slaves. Mm. When it starts happening, the Philippines may talk and yap and write their rubbish. But now that the Fulanese are kidnapping our people, mm. disappearing us, killing people in two clothes, nobody's talking. We must make our land impregnable for them. And that will involve a lot of destruction. I'm saying it live on air so that all of you will understand. To slow the advance down, we need to destroy a lot of things. We must destroy a lot of things. That is how you, all of you, will come to your senses to understand that we are in a state of war. We are at war. We are at war. They want to circle us. Autumn has there, sorry. They are using the flavors amongst us to try to be, you know, assuaging your, your, should I say, your bruised egos, all of you, writing no rubbish about one Nigeria. They are careful. They are careful. From next two weeks, we are going to start dying for what we believe in. For what we believe in. Not one or two or three or four. Mm. We are going to die in mass, and we are going to take them with us. By the time the slaughter happens, it will be too so intense that you see that CNN, they'll come to their family to cover this very war. That is about to happen. You see CNN, all of them running away from Jaffa, they'll cover it by force because we are going to kill every Nigerian soldier on Jaffa soil will die. God is my witness. And I will leave this very army myself. I want the UK to understand that we have chosen to die than be slaves. At the end of this newly declared war against black friends, many of us will perish, but out of these very wounds, black friends are going to rise up again to the eternal glory of Chukut Kapanopini in heaven. 
that his will may be done on earth as it is in heaven. Mm. I want them to understand. Let it not be to more people say, oh, that, but the suicide bombing is not uh, part of our nature. It's not our life. It's not our culture. Now, now, that's what I are there. Did you hear it now? Do you understand what is to come? Do you understand what is to come? Do you understand what is to come if anything happened to this man? Do you understand what is to come if they said they have um, judged the case and um, and they don't want to do it the way it's supposed to be? Do you not understand what is to come? A lot of people have been built up to something else. I tell you. I tell you. I tell you. Let us put our ear on ground. It's going to be terrible, I tell you. Unless, uh, maybe the Nigerian government will be very smart. I think they will be smart this time. All those coming out here to be laughing. Um, I don't know. They, I don't know how we welcome them at last. Maybe we'll forgive them for those that are saying forgiveness is in the additionary. Let's go. We are their friends, as they would say, being a Liverpool fan. What we do in life echo in history, as they sing. What you achieve in life will echo because it's appointed unto man to die only but once. Mm -hmm. Earlier I was mentioning Mandela, I mentioned George Washington, I mentioned Oliver uh, Cromwell, I mentioned uh, Mugabe, I mentioned, I don't even know if I mentioned Castro or not. All these are called terrorists. They are all dead, but they are immortal because we still mention them to this very day. We, are, we crave immortality. And in 14 days, it will start. 14 days, 14 days. Don't say I did not warn you, please. 14 days. Don't say I didn't warn you. 14 days. Fulani brought war to our land. All we asked them to do was to leave our forest and go and live in the township, rent a house and live in the town, bring down your Nama, sell it, and do whatever I want to do with it. You cannot stay in our forest. You cannot stay there. If you stay there, you will die. That is the only crime that Eastern Security Network committed. Nobody can tell us today if their mosque has been bombed by ESN or any church or any village or anyone, nothing. So these people you're calling terrorists, what is their crime? Because they said that we should know we cannot take over their land. That is the crime of ESN and IPOB by extension. As I told you a few weeks ago, the ginger weed has opened the floodgates of hell. And unto thy hands of Elohim we commit our spirit. I tell you. As they will say in one very popular movie, those of us who are about to die will salute you. Aye, aye, aye. Because the land of Biafra will be defended. Aye, something is about to come. I understand. With the blood of anything that moves. Rather than the full I need to take over the Afro land, there will be no living organism in that very place. I am warning every traditional ruler, every governor, every senator to understand what I'm saying this night and take it on board. And do not quote me out of context. If you want to be a full and slave, go to the middle belt and join them there, or if you can be slaves to one Nigeria, it's your business. You say the land of Biafra, we cannot surrender to anyone. Now, I don't want anybody to lament. Oh, they have killed us here. Don't stop lamentation. Do you hear them? Do you hear it now? Uh, this is the part I want to stop. This particular part is what I want you to take home as a message. Don't lament. Don't lament. You know within yourself that what you are fighting is a just cause. Even though you have been labeled terrorists only in Nigeria. But what we are fighting is a just cause. And that's why he said, don't lament. Don't lament. If you know what to do, you do it. If you know that job, no matter how little, no matter if it is just that you are, you are hurt as you have been supporting this struggle, don't lose hope. This point is the point I am going to stop. Um, this is, um, I want to repeat it again, is when he's consoling many of you don't lament. That is the message I bring to you today. Don't lament. And we commit our spirit. As they will say in one very popular movie, those of us who are about to die will salute you. 
because the land of Biafra will be defended with the blood of anything that moves. Rather than the Fulani to take over Biafra land, there will be no living organism in that very place. I am warning every traditional ruler, every governor, every senator to understand what I'm saying this night and take it on board. And do not quote me out of context. If you want to be a Fulani slave, go to the Middle Belt and join them there. All of you can be slaves to one Nigeria is your business. You say the land of Biafra, we cannot surrender to anyone. Now, I don't want anybody to lament. Oh, they have killed us here. Don't stop lamentation. All we need is action. Mm. All right. Not Rambo style action. If you want to know how Britain ran away from Israel, go and read the book. Just Google it and say, how was it possible that the state of Israel was established despite hostilities from everywhere, surrounded by enemies? But they still succeeded because they blew them out of Palestine. Or they call they call it Palestine, which was a name just as they're calling us now Southeast. They don't want to call us our name Biafra. After the Romans took over the Holy Land, they named it Palestine because they said that the Jews were too stubborn. They raised the name Israel and called the place Palestine. That's what they do. Because when somebody wants to completely overwhelm you, they change your identity for you. And if you're a very stupid black person, as most of us are, of course, in Africa, you swallow your new name, Hoekland and Sinker. Mm. Israel was named Palestine by the Romans that came and burnt the temple down because of rebellion, that they were too rebellious. The same thing they tried to do to us. We must be very, very strong. Go and ask them how they did it. They blew them away from there. Not all this rambo on the road. Every road leading into Biafra land will be mined. Everything that is Nigerian, whatever police or army that steps on our road will blow it to the kingdom come. Very neat and simple. And I will name a cowboy and a rambo. Land it our rubbish. Everywhere we will destroy everything destroyable. We need to force them. I said before. When we drive away the full and terrorists from Yetiala from our bushes, they will bring in their army. We will kill their army, they will start throwing bombs from the air. After that, uh, they will leave us alone. I'm telling you, look, you mark my word, that's how it's going to happen. When I told you that we will defeat Yetiala, did you believe me? When I said we will drive away Yetiala from our land, did you believe me? We did it without the help of any governor, no politician, nobody. This great family, this IPOB, Chineke goes you and your man. We are dying, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least we are dying for what we... How about those being killed by uh, the Fulani Janja weed in the middle belt? They died for nothing. They're not fighting for anything. They're not fighting for independence. Nothing. They're just on the farm and they're killed. For you to die in the cause of defending your country, your nation, is the greatest heart calling anyone can have in this life. You must understand that. From today, we must stop lamenting on social media and engage ourselves in activities that will slow down the enemy. We'll not Thank you very much for giving us such advice. You must stop lamenting. Uh, good thing today, I am seeing um, Fulani Hesman for the first time in my broadcast. I see Ile Ibini, they are normal. They are normal. Ile Ibini is um, normal. Uh, their own is not new. Uh, like I said, I brought you this message. I don't even expect to be so long in this way, but I'm going to roll down now and uh, you know how i always end my program um today i just came out to replay what has happened to tell you a, a glimpse to give you a glimpse of iceberg for you to know that this traveling home he went back home is prepared he went back home and he knew he's going back home he will have planned everything on going back home because um he cannot be talking there and biafra will be somewhere there they are molesting them it's because of him and the Nigerian government are very, very careful. I tell you, they are extremely careful this time around. I am telling you from what, just go and watch, um, go and watch um, AITI. That's why I started, you know, I started this broadcast 
with my normal um, program that I used to display some videos. Uh, before I now saw that um, I cannot, I've been restricted from that particular um, app. I don't know why. I wanted to bring you the conversation of AIT with one man. You know, he's talking about the way they will treat him. They will be very, very careful because um, Nam the County is a person of high profile. Many of you that many lay been person here that are watching or maybe or fulani uh, yeah, they can slaughter your father or your mother anyhow like a cow without even thinking looking back the person they are holding is not only a man of his people but is a man of international world all eyes on them to see what they are going to do with the man they are not they are not they are not sleeping and we nobody is hoping on them anymore we are not hoping on them but i just trying to let you know that they are very very careful they are very careful in dealing with him um no no i i now i knew the reason why esn was created i knew the reason why it was created and um we must continue we must continue like i said i am going to roll down now the message is very simple you know do you know the message stop lamenting stop willing stop crying unnecessarily if you know what to do how little it is support in whichever way morally financially otherwise being steadfast being focused being consistency being resolute being bravely and in all remembering that biafra is our religion and you know what it means something is your religion you know how 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 fragile you pamper it we can never relent if it's somebody that puts you in to join this struggle i'm very sorry for you i'm very sorry i cannot help it but we that join this struggle without nobody convincing us we are not shaking we will continue doing it the way it is you have messengers everywhere the message is everywhere the 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 the, the, the man that was pregnant since 2012 have given birth to so many children everywhere i tell you we will continue as daft as they may be they think as the man have handed himself over to them that everything has ended no that's the reason why he handed himself over to him over to them and i tell you put your ear on ground before 26th you will hear the message um i have to greet you for those that are with me i cannot start calling them i have a lot of people here today with me um even the enemies a lot of enemies are here to see that um they want to see us wailing they never knew that we are past the stage of wailing we are past the stage of crying what are we crying for what are you crying for who are you crying for you know um the man that you people want to be crying for have lost his parents the two parents has gone and so he knew that he's going back he knew is one saboteur one one saboteur that knew that this man is africa i was a uh, i was um i was a little bit uh, uncomfortable when i hear it from him on his program many of you may know who i'm talking i don't want to mention them he's the one that made, made mention of it i think last two weeks i said who let this guy know that this guy is in africa but um no matter what happened we will see the end of um end of the journey um i think um i think uh, we must continue nam the Kano is not uh is not uh how will i say is uh, anyway it's like god to so many people and uh, nigerian government now to them they have solved the whole problem of nigeria they have solved the problem of kidnapping they have solved the problem of mandatory they have solved the problem of boko haram they have solved the problem of economy the problem of job opportunity opportunity of job have been created to them now you will see they will put it in one of the achievements they they got none they can as a as a apc achievement before they are as they are leaving office very soon and um, i tell you but we must continue so the message is a good one is a good news for us it's a good news for us so that let us get it a little bit tough you know whenever is um if you want to know how johnny how tough johnny is uh because i said before any journey that has no obstacle run away run away every journey that has that will lead you to progress that will lead you to success that must be so many obstacles on the way and now we are in one of the obstacles and we'll see how it goes so i want to end this program with my brother and father at the same time those who know how to gossip please keep on gossiping keep on gossiping i am signing out from the beautiful city of vienna austria to be precise austria to be precise and i think um, i have a brother here I don't know whether I should play this brother music before I go. 
Grab your friends around the world, wherever you are. From me, from here, it is good afternoon. Because of your own time zone, I say to you, good morning, good evening, and good night, so many of you, depending on your location. Great dear friends, I am here this hour to announce to you to rejoice that at that waiting hour, that long waiting hour of freedom of black African race has finally come. Our leader, Mazen Namdekano, have really shown the genuine love that no man on this generation or generation of our forefather has not ever been able or read in a history display. I thank him so much and I thank his lovely wife and his entire family because as he behind every successful man there must be a woman behind every successful woman on earth there must be a sensible man because not all men are sensible I seriously, from my bottom of my heart, I thank him a lot. What Mazen Namdekano has displayed is what none since I am since I was born to this time of my age. What Mazen Namdekano have displayed is what no preacher of any gospel of Jesus Christ could ever do. Man is honored by his own word, not by, by the action of his own word, sorry, not by speaking and speaking years to years, months to months, weeks to week. When you talk about love, you can, love is very easy language to utter out from anyone's mouth but the action of love is what always become difficult for any man to display i today my respect my loyalty and my formidability on this struggle increases more than ever before. I say more than ever before. Mazen Namdekano have shown the world what it takes to be a man. And like always say, there is men there is also man. Men are everywhere. Men are scattered everywhere. But to filter out the real man is what is always difficult. But I am very joyful in my heart. I'm very hard. My heart is, is completely excited that a man like Mazen Nandekano happened to manifest this kind of love at my time, at my own generation. And I must advise the generation of this hour, of this era, to learn 
something that they will pass on to their children because we are busy learning something that we have to pass on to other ones that are coming behind us Mazin Namdekano is a great man, a man who is indeed honoring his own word. Exclusive is a man who have chosen to honor his own word without fear or without strength of any of any threat. The Nigeria government who their attorney general speedily come online to say that uh, our leader was arrested. Our leader wasn't arrested. Our leader wasn't arrested. Nigeria government they are in, they are in in this character I call a coward and and the character of this lies is always in them. You can never the Nigeria government can never speak truth until this world comes to an end. Our leader wasn't arrested. Our leader come to prove to them that there is no man in Nigeria. As far as Nigeria is concerned, because whatever God have caused, I want to teach you something today. When God lay cause on any place, it is you that God have appointed <laughs> to facilitate the destruction of that place that we help no, somebody may say you cannot help God. Now I want to remind you, if Joshua did not encourage the people of Israel by his action, despite the giant that he saw in the land when he went to spy, did you think that God will help the Israel to regain their freedom? The answer is no. So that's why sometimes when somebody says you cannot help God, Yes, of course, we cannot help God, but we can help ourselves to facilitate the prophecy of our blessing. Not by helping God. You help yourself by facilitating the prophecy of your blessing. That is what exactly what Mazin and the Kano have done. There is something we must understand in this issue. The world is watching. And the world today have also noted down one senseless and one idiotic character of the state of Nigeria. <laughs> because he stepped in to destroy their terrorist government more and more internationally. And this Nigeria government that I know that they are always senseless in their action, stupidly, stupidly broadcasting the arrest of Mazen Nandekano. That is the area they have shot themselves on the foot. Because you don't arrest a man who decided to say, what is it that you say you have with me? Okay, you are president who you are passionating around the world cannot come closer to the people he said is the president of this, these people. They cannot come to the media and hold a media conference. Now, I want to ask Nigerians, if Buhari is alive, is he not your president? At least case of Mazen Nandekano is not a case of any minister. He has gone beyond a capacity of any minister. If Buhari is around, he is still alive, as Olushe Gobasan just shamelessly claimed that how can Buhari die 
that him, Olusegun Obasanjo, didn't know. Didn't know. Of course, he knew that Buhari have died. But there is a game, this Califarian game, Caliphate game want to be. You know, Nigeria is the headquarter of all dangerous courts all around the world. So the world courtists, they are fighting this fight to keep Nigeria so that they will have a safe heaven. Nigeria is the safe heaven of all occultic you can ever describe in this world. Nigeria give them the material which they need. And that those material, because we don't have a human database, so Nigeria has become their headquarters where they harvest human beings for their activities. So this is what I want to open every youth eyes to know today. This is why the forces of evil is focusing in Nigeria. Mazin Namdekanu wasn't arrested. Mazin Namdekanu walked down by himself. Because we cannot afford to be talking, talking, why the children we are talking because of them, why the politicians and their religious leaders and their traditional rulers are busy slaughtering these children. That is why he decided to come down himself and confront that fucking devil who says that any child from Africa will not amount to anything. Then we have come to prove to the world that every child of African, black African race will amount to something. We are going to enforce, we are going to enforce that, that law that will make every African look equal, like the way it is here in abroad. Everybody is equal in abroad when it comes to constitution, when it comes to law. You are equal. You are not above anybody. Even a home, a homeless man in the street, you cannot go out here now and kick a homeless man on a foot right here down my area here. There is a place where at this time you see them then gather there. You cannot dare. You don't dare you go there and kick anyone. If camera captured you, you will see that man in a court standing with you. No matter amount you have, no matter whatever you, your title you are carrying, even more title you have, more recognized you have in society, in such case, more harm you have done to yourself. It is better you, you are more even poorer than that homeless man that you kick on the foot. Because if you are richer than, if you are somehow presentable, then you will hear from the government. That is what you call giving everybody equal right you see i don't want to see people who are panicking who does not understand the struggle everybody keep calm go to your coordinators all our coordinators around the world they understand what is going on we know what we are doing and our leader is a man of honor he knows what we are here for we are not here for any delay of any game we are here to play the real game of freedom because everything in this world your religion you are believing is what it is also a game it depending how you play the game either you play the game sincerely or you play the game you know fraudulently we have come to play the game sincerely with honesty then i i am happy today that the nigeria government did not fall our hand by not acting stupidly the way they used to act because there is something that i said if he went down without any arrest that means 
the freedom of those children which their heart is is yearning for freedom will look so slow but i am very happy today that then 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 also acted the way that all the whole world was expecting them to act because we are waiting for them to act stupidly like you know stupidity is a second name is a son name of nigeria because every nigeria state man according to them they are all ignorant these men are men of analog not being men of analog but men that are so senseless in their action in their thinking because it seems that the courts which they wrote themselves stupidly into always take away their brain watch out no nigeria you can see a man now who is very very sensible when he is not in politics of nigeria but the moment that man join any political party in nigeria or join nigeria politics his brain will go off him i know somebody like now good example is p2b i've known the history of p2b a man who is well studied a man who is his standard of education is something that need to be you know that somebody need to be proud of but look at him in nigeria politics look at him where he find himself he becomes senseless like funanese look at ebere jonathan ebere jonathan is a man that if it is here if it is in this side of the world where we do where we live ebere jonathan you will see what they call a quality man in politics but because of there is this evil evil activation Concerning Nigeria corridor of power, anybody who enters there, you see Mazin Namdekano, the way Mazin Namdekano, as intelligent as Mazin Namdekano is, as bold, boldly as Mazin Namdekano is, if you are, if he, if Mazin Namdekano entered Nigeria politics, he will become God. He will immediately go into his brain. And take every gift of intelligence, every gift of understanding, every gift of wisdom that he placed in him, and he will move it away. And God will leave him with that funanay mentality. This is what, what I will tell the whole world. So this is what we have decided. And Mazin Nandekana have proved to the world. He have proved to their friends. He have proved to the Duduas. He have proved to every black African person that this time around a man like him can be found in this world a man like him can be found in this world again and this lift my spirit i am very very happy i am very very strong and i am urging every ipub member wherever you are this is the time to wait for that answer of that freedom the answer of the freedom has come has finally come we pray we pray we pray that nigeria government increases their bullying you know there is there is something that we we want to let the world know from them and today they have fallen into that trap with the trap was set then what then 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 foolishly enter into the trap because I, somebody like me, I was afraid that somebody will advise them or somebody will somehow dish out that secret so that when he come in, they will not go closer to him. Then now they will begin to say, okay, we are here, you are around, you are this, you are this, come up, let us talk let us talk we don't need to talk with we don't need to talk with terrorists we don't negotiate with that i've said this time with that number we are not going to negotiate with terrorists nigeria government is a terrorist organization so we are not going to bow to negotiate with any terrorist 
what Mazen Nandekano is available there to do is to finalize and couple the freedom of every one in Nigeria who is suffering, who is not enjoying 24 hours electricity, who that police officer who is not enjoying the salary that he need to enjoy as a police officer. That police officer who have never enjoyed the government that he served, except by going out of the streets to insult himself by receiving a roadside bribe. We want a nation where a police officer will be proud of his and her salary. That when you offer him or her bribe, he will look at your face and say, no, what is this money for? That is where, that is our dream ahead. So I thank Mazin Namdekanu so greatly. I thank his wife who allowed this sacrifice to facilitate our freedom. I thank his entire family and I thank IPOB hierarchies who have made all this possible. I thank everybody. I thank everyone, both those visible and invisible, and invisible in this struggle. I say, may God of heaven, may God of Chuko, that Chuko Kikabiyama, God of Henry, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, may that God keep us strong, and in a couple of days to come, every man should have something in, a mind, in his or her mindset. Our freedom is coming. And when freedom is at corner, one thing you should know, one thing you should know, you have to equip yourself. You have to be very, very equipped. Self-equipped is very, very needed. Because one, one, so many enemies may want may not want you to walk into that land which you are hoping for. I want to advise every youth from now, every youth in Biafra land, in fact, every youth of Yoruba, wherever you are, you are you in your state, are you in a Kiti state, are you in Ogun state, are you in Lagos state, if you know you are a youth and you have a desire to live, to see another Africa time to come. What I mean Africa time to come. Africa where everybody will be rushing in to secure a visa to come. Disease from night movement. Because I want to tell you something. For the Kano now, for the arrival of the Kano and their stupid art, they know that they have lost every opportunity that they are bribing the world for. They have lost it totally. They have lost it totally. And a man who lost battle will always want to ravage the background of that battlefield. Be very careful. I am dropping this word. No way, I'm not, not everything that I will say on camera. Funanese, they will not live without leaving something, a record down. Because Funanese, they are living, they are living your territory. Yoruba, Funanese will leave your territory. The hour they will leave their territory has come. Uh, the youth in the east, Funanese, they will leave our territory in, in, a, in a couple days to come. The same thing, Middle Belt, Funanese, they are leaving. And before they will leave, believe me, you, they will do something. So every youth should go and equip themselves. Be ready. Days ahead, we don't want to hear anybody lament. We don't want to hear any human being lament. And every IPOB member, if you know that you are in this struggle, if you know that you are in this struggle now, <laughs> and uh, you have seen the demonstration of our leader, you have seen what they call a man with hearts, of freedom 
Have you seen it? So you have seen what they call a man with heart of freedom. So what you are learning today is what you are going to drop for your children. So you will not be selfish as our mentality was. As our mentality was then, myself, myself, there is no people myself, myself have help. Myself, myself does not help anybody. Let me tell you the gospel truth. Some apostles, some pastors, some evangelists may tell you, face yourself, face yourself. When you face yourself, it did not tackle the, 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 the challenges of your, of your brothers in your family. Their problems still remain there. Their problems still remain heavily there. So what Martin Namdekano have done is what I know. There is no man of God, no matter how prophetic he is gifted, no matter how, uh, call it, how anointed he is, can do in this time around. Nobody on earth, nobody on earth, Nobody on earth. It's not challengeable. It's not disputable. Nobody, nobody, nobody on earth, no man on earth this time around can do what Maze Nandekano has done. We are marching forward. Our freedom has finally come. This is what I want to tell all the Afrans, wherever you are. Everybody the hour is now. The hour is now. The hour is now. I am not in this camera to tell you all things. The hour is now. The hour is now. The military presence since yesterday night in the eastern region is nothing but laughable. <laughs> it's laughable. You know, there's one thing these criminals always think. You see, uh, Nigeria politicians and their Funani terrorist colleagues, there's something they are uh, always think. They think that this fight is for Eastern fight. Mm -mm. The fight we are fighting is fight of liberation of everybody, both those who want the freedom and those who does not want the freedom. The freedom will be given to them, then if they don't want to enjoy the package of freedom that is coming, then they can relocate. Someone can choose to remain in a king's house. Others can choose to remain anywhere they want in the world. This is what it is. So we are winning. We are winning. We are in the final stage of Biafra freedom. Our Excellency, His Excellency Mazin Nandekano has done it again. He has truly done it again. He has truly done it again. That is to show you that any man who is who who feel that he can stand the shoe of Mazin Nandekano, let that man come forward. On this surface earth, both white, both black, on this surface of this earth we are today. On this surface of the, uh, this earth we are today. Let that man come forward. Let that man come forward. If you come forward, you display the love. Mazen Namde cannot have displayed. You show that sincerity without any fear or favor. He has showed. You show the boldness of God, which God said, be bold, be courageous. You show that courageousness, then come forward. Come forward and give me, name one man, name one man on this earth. Name the man on earth from east to south, from south to west, from west to north. Name the one man. I am challenging. I am not talking about Africa. Name the man. Just name one man. Name one man who you may call your mentor in life name that man then i will tell you that you and that man does not even match the sole of the feet of Mazen and the shoe that is it
So we remain focused, we remain struggle, we remain very, very strong on this struggle. Nobody, this is the time we buckle up and do the needful. Our freedom has finally come and I am very, very glad. I am very, very happy today what Nigeria government have displayed. They have shown the world that they will never learn. You know, one thing I always tell people, one thing I only tell people on this earth we are today, this generation we are, I say Nigeria and their politicians and their religious leaders, they are on, on divine course. You know, when, some, when God calls people, it is called a divine cause, and nobody can lose the cause. The people, there is an army that God will appoint to facilitate his action towards that particular cause. Nigeria is on that cause, and IPOB and the Mazen Namdekano, the leader of IPU, IPO, is the instrument that God wants to use to end the forces of darkness in Africa. Nigeria is where all the forces of darkness assemble themselves. They come in the form of religion, they come in the form of politics, they come in the form of business, they come in the form of all manner of form you can talk about. All the Nigeria, they have used Nigeria as their headquarters. And what we are fighting, we are fighting a fight that a man with ordinary eyes, a man with a carnal mentality can never understand it. A man with ordinary, a mere carnal mindset can never understand this struggle. And that is how God has made it to be. Our leader has helped us to facilitate our freedom. This is what they call a man that has the heart of sacrifice. A man that has the heart, it's not by speaking. It's not by vomiting it. I have gone to church many years. I have been in a symbol of God so many years. I have been in all manner of crusade so many years. I have been the we men have been preaching the word of God, speaking it, but without action. Without action. But on this day, on this day, on this day, we have testified that yes. There is people who are honored, who choose to honor their own word, like the way, you know, one thing, one thing that made God, God, and above every other created thing on earth, is that he keep to his word. God cherishes his word more than himself. That is what is called a man. That is what they call a man. When you cherish your word, when you want to accomplish your word more than yourself, it is called. Remember, he said it. He said, I will come down myself. Biafra will not be declared while I am outside. Did he say it or not? Biafra will not declare when I am outside. I will be around when Biafra will be declared. And. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nobody arrest him. Nobody can arrest him. Nigeria, as a government, and their ministers, and their politicians, their senators, their half of representative members, their judiciary, they are all coward. They are all coward upon all the millions and billions of dollars they have wasted in doing it. They could not do it where they are, where they, where they have run out of cash. The man of honor uses his own leg to walk in. What is that? What is that? What is your problem? Tell me that thing that is your problem. I am here. Tell me that thing that is your Is that arrest? Is that arrest? I am asking the word. Is that arrest? You are looking for me. You say you claim to be looking for me. Can you look for a man who have international database? Just like as I am now, you say you are looking for Lion Man. How, how are you looking for Lion Man? Somebody who is in international database. 
Anybody who is in abroad, who is legalized in abroad, go and ask. You have joined that, you have joined international database. So anybody who claim to be looking for you is joking. The only thing you need to do, get the picture of the person and tell the world, this person, I'm looking for him. They will come here, they will knock at my gate. I will go there and open the door for them. What is that? What is this for? What is the proof? What is, give me the proof. They, 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 come, I follow them. That is how it is done. Nobody, you know, Nigeria's government said they, are, they declare mass landing can wanted. I was laughing. I said, a man with international database, you declare one. And this man is traveling all over the world that he want to travel. He is all over the world. Because, he, because the world discovered that you are a liar, you are engaged in the terrorist activities, the world said, no, this is the man who wants to stop that activity of terrorism in Nigeria. That's why they keep him and say, no, this is the man who wants to stop it. You, government of Nigeria, you are sponsoring terror. So the man, at a point of time, when you have claimed that maybe he is outside, so you can continue your nonsense, he decided, okay, let me come. Let me by myself come and meet you so that the world will see. And he fulfilled his word. He, he, he decided to come and ask you what, is that you, what is that your problem? What is that? What is exactly is your problem? I am here. You say you are a man enough. You know, when I tell people, I say, there is no man in Nigeria as I'm concerned. There is no man in Nigeria. There is no man in Nigeria as I, Lion Man, consign. Because there is actions we need to know man for, not by killing. Killing does not make you to be a man. But in Nigeria, the only thing they know is killing. Killing is all us or is, is something that makes every average Nigerian man claim to be man. When you say, when you see a politician in Nigeria say, I'm a man, I'm this, I am that. Or you see any man in Nigeria who say I am just secretly go and ask him how many people have you killed that is only thing they prove you know they see as a proof to be a man that is only thing they see as a proof to be a man enough but it's not it's not that way what makes you a man is the mentality of development you have of development you have turning desert into a green land, turning that dry land into a water land, trying everything, you know, changing the narrative of the environment is what makes you a man. I thank God for the action of this. God have helped Biafrans and help IPOB once again by the action, by this senseless action of the zoo. You know, the trap. You know, Mazin Nandekano, you know, is a man that God always gives strategy. When you give him strategy, he goes straight to that strategy immediately without wasting of time. Another trap in this 2020, 2021, remember 2021. <laughs> remember 2021. Remember what he said 2021 will be. Everybody should go and remember what he said that 2020. Go and play the broadcast of Mazin Nandekano and listen and listen over again. You will hear something he said about 2021. How that is, how is he going to come fastly if not by facing going down there to see what is happening, going down there to confront those infidel, those uncircumcised, useless Arab that call themselves Funanis and their supporters from religion, from tradition from politics so the hour has finally come so i thank every ipob member for their effort i thank uh, everybody who make this possible because very soon in the months to come in the weeks to come 
those people who have lost hope, especially in that territory called Nigeria, they will know that their future is bright. They will know that they are facing another identity, another identity that is their own identity. That Yoruba son and daughter who have been suffering, who graduated with that work, who have suffered a lot of intimidation in Nigeria, humiliation in Nigeria, uh, your hour of laughter has come. That hour you are praying for, for years, the, my year of laughter, my year of laughter, you will go and embrace your own identity. That your identity is where your laughter lies on. <laughs> you cannot be carrying a false identity and you want to laugh. No. Your hour of laughter has finally come. I thank you all for listening. IPOB Worldwide, I say kudos to us. <laughs> we are there and God in heaven is fighting for us. Nothing, not even hair of his head will go off his head in that place. <laughs> not even a single hair of his head. Underline my language. Mazen Nandekano, our leader, the leader of African who are testing for freedom. Not even one hair of his head we go off from that place. So those of you who does not understand how this world function, I will ask you to keep calm while you watch those who understand the system of this world. We understand the system of the world and we will activate it in a manner that the world will yes know that Africa, Africa, Indeed, is the beginning of the world. How many of you know that Africa, world started from Africa? How many of you know that the beginning of this world, world began in Africa? How many of you know you have been going there and there, no history? Words began from Africa, and that light again to restore peace and harmony in this world again. It will also start from Africa, and that journey has begin. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Let everybody go home and eat, drink, rejoice. If, today should be the, the, the most the most rejoiceful day of IPOB all around the world because something is about to happen. Something is about to happen. Of course it will happen because God did not give them the knowledge, the wisdom to dodge what is coming. This one now, they cannot dodge it anymore. This one now that they are in, there is no way of escape. Nigeria can never escape this one. Watch at what economy of Nigeria we have will be, will be. For those of you now, watch economy of Nigeria. Every economy of Nigeria will be dropping. So I am giving you what is the except except and i don't think that god will allow that to happen except 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 then decided to go and ask god how are we going to manage this man this man that came in into our that used his own leg to come into our hand god what is the way forward and I know that God will deny all the prophets in Nigeria. He will deny all the apostles in Nigeria. He will deny all the bishops in Nigeria. He will deny them that revelation. I have said it. I have prayed it immediately. I said, God, deny every of them who is one in one, support of one Nigeria. I said, deny every of them the revelation the way you did it the time of the time of Saul. Well, the time of Saul, when God wanted to destroy Saul, he denied all the noticeable prophets. He denied them the revelation to save Saul. Anywhere Saul went to, they will prophesy lie. Anywhere Saul went to, they will prophesy lie. Go, go, in the next couple of weeks, come and see. 
come and see their stupidity in order how they will be displaying it god will be blind as god said god blind all of them from a to z from north to west from west to south everywhere blind all of them use your hand and channel this course by the time it is finished they all they will only see they will only see the result of what you have done this is what is going to happen so from me i say to everybody may the peace of elohim be with you all he said we are winning i'm very happy we are winning the world we see in the days to come they will see that yes this generation of biafra are determined for what they believe um, god bless you and God keep you all.